In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the implied audit value for a population by using ratio estimation. So let's say that we're auditing accounts payable. You've got the following data here. You've got 6,500 accounts in the accounts payable. And then the book value of that, according to the company, we've got 6,025,500 for the entire 6,500 accounts payable. You draw a sample of 500 accounts, and the book value per the company is 450,000, but you find the audit value is 462,000. And the question is, how do we extrapolate what we found to the population's audit value? What should be the audit value for the entire population, all 6,500 accounts? So with ratio estimation, it's a simple two-step procedure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sample's audit value, which is 462,000, we're going to divide it by the sample's book value. And that's going to give us a ratio. So let's take $462,000 divided by 450,000. And that's going to give us 1.026667. Now this is rounded. And I'm mentioning that because you will get different numbers if you don't do any rounding. And I'll come back to that in a minute. So next, our next step is we're going to say, okay, now that we have that ratio, right, this is our ratio, we're going to multiply that by the book value of the population. So here's our population and here's our book value. So we're going to take the 6,025,500 and we're going to multiply it by our ratio, 1.026667. And that's going to give us, so right here, our product is going to be 6,186,000 and two hundred dollars that's going to be our implied audit value for the population now if you did not round this number you did it on a, on a calculator or in excel or something like that then the number you would have got would have been close but not the same six million one hundred eighty six thousand one hundred and eighty dollars and this again would be instead of a question mark here that would be our implied audit value for the population of accounts receivable